Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a happy, healthy, and productive day today. So today's video is going to be focused all on the brows. So typically, I always get my eyebrows threaded. I've been getting them threaded for years and I feel like that is the perfect way to get your perfect shape. Um, it is a little painful for those that have never gotten threaded before, but you eventually get used to it and they look so darn good after. It doesn't even matter. These are my brows the way that they are now. They're very messy. Before the quarantine, I did get my eyebrows done about a week before that. They went back to its natural state, so my eyebrow came in. Um, my eyebrow tends to go very low, um, almost touching my eyelash. And they're very long too, so they're very wide, they're very long, and then um, they connect, I have a unibrow. Even though we're not going anywhere and I'm just going for light walks around the neighborhood, I still feel like myself. And not doing my eyebrows was just not helping the situation. So I just started doing them at home again. And just for the meantime, once everything goes back to normal, which I know they will, I will be going back to getting them threaded. So I'm going to show you how I do them, what tools I use, and explain to you the process of how I get them the way that I love. Let's get started. You're going to need a spoolie, you're going to need scissors uh, or clippers, uh, like the smaller um, scissors. I just happen to have these and they work just fine. The best tool is this little razor. So this little razor I actually found uh, on Amazon and it's by the brand Tinkle and this is what it looks like. I will list it in the description box below and I tend to use the same one a couple of times because I just disinfect it with a little alcohol wipe or with vinegar and water and just make sure I clean it very well and then I'll reuse it. I've used it before when for some reason or other I couldn't get them threaded and this is the second time that I use it now that we've been in quarantine. Don't forget to hydrate. So I have a mirror that's right here in front of me and I can also look into the camera. The first thing I'm going to do is comb my brow. For some reason there's just something about the brows and they're not done. I just, I feel like a mess. I just feel like a hot mess. it out and made sure that this part of my brow is combed in the direction of where the hair is growing. What I'm going to do is start snipping away on the extra brow that doesn't belong there. So, so I'm going to start combing up and then just getting rid of the hair that just has just grown and it's way, way too long. And you can tell by the shape of your brow how much your hair has grown. You don't wanna cut it too short because then your brow starts to lose the width. So since this hair grows upward, that is in the direction that I'm going to cut it, which is straight forward. Once I start getting into the middle of the brow and I start combing it, I'm going to cut it into the direction of the brow. You're not going to cut in any other way because you're going to cut more hair than you really want and then your eyebrows are gonna look thinner if you prefer them thicker. So if you see here, my brow is growing outward and that's what I'm going to cut. Not too much, just a little bit of what's extra, just literally little snippets just to start giving it that form. Go ahead and repeat on the other side. I don't like to shorten it. I don't know if you know, but the length of your eyebrow matches perfectly with your eye. So how long your eye is is typically how long your eyebrow is. So if you take your spoolie and you put it at the end of your eye, it usually measures exactly to where the end of your brow is perfectly. So if you take your spoolie and you put it on the side of your nose upward, that's usually where your eyebrow starts. I disinfected it with little alcohol strips before I did this just because I don't know where it came from, right? 
So I'm going to comb the hair and make sure that I align my spoolie to the beginning of the brow because I don't want to cut further in. So I'm going to put it right there on my nose, right there, and that's what I'm going to start getting rid of. And I'm just looking into the mirror because I don't want to mess this up, obviously, right? And then I flip it over with my right hand because I can't cut with my left. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just get rid of the little hair. With Be careful because the blade is a little long. You don't want to cut on the other eyebrow while you're cutting your right. And just get rid of the little hairs. It's so satisfying. I love it. So I did the middle part nice and clean. So you're, you're going to follow the natural shape that you already have, getting rid of just the extra little hairs that have grown in. That's all you're going to do. If you lost the shape, figure out how it is that you like it, and then you can give it the shape that you want. Do you want it rounder? Do you want it squared? I'm also gonna start getting rid of the hair at the top, stopping right above my eyebrow. So I will show you. I get pretty close to it, but then I stop. Just getting rid of the extra little hair that has grown in, and then on the side, and then right here where my squared is, right? It goes up and then down, and that starts to give it more of the shape. At first, this little blade could be a little bit difficult to handle, but honestly, I've been using it for a while now when I do the dermaplaning on my face that it's almost like second nature now. And then I'm gonna comb it. And you see it's starting to get more defined. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. If you want something to help you take care of your eyebrows, maintain them nourished and healthy and to help them grow and be fluffier and bushier use castor oil i would just use a little bit of castor oil on my spoolie and i would just comb them through and sleep on it all right now we're going to start getting rid of the extra little hair that has grown in so i'm literally going to get rid of all of these hairs right here so i'm going to close my eyes i don't want to cut off my lashes Now we're gonna do the other side. You can just tell the difference between your eyebrow that's been there for a while and the new hair that's grown in. Uh, every couple of little steps that you take, make sure you take a step back and look at both of them. There you have it. You can go in with a light pencil. There is a clean beauty product that I've been dying to try and it's the YPT brow pencil and I heard it's amazing. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on it and give it a try and see what I think. So if you do want to go in, you can take a brow, a brow gel and then just comb them through. This one's a um, dark brown. So yeah, this is what they look like, nice and full, nice and clean. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope your brows come out amazing. If you haven't done them before at home, take your time, don't rush through them. Watch other videos as well until you become comfortable and just practice, right? Practice getting rid of a couple of hairs at a time and let me know what you think overall, let me know how your brows made out. Uh, take care, stay safe, goodbye.